Hello, people. This is your reading for the 10th. This is for all of you who are looking for a message. Okay. See what energy we can pull for you guys by way of love today. Please show me messages. Please show me messages. Love messages. Please show me love messages. Alright guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I don't know why I'm feeling a little just tired. Let's see. Messages. What messages do we have for you guys today? Hmm. All right. Okay, here we go. Eight of Wands. Sagittarian energy. This is travel. This is love messages. It's all about change, forward movement here. Okay, um, receiving, you know, an epiphany, an aha moment. You know, being stagnant for a while, trying to figure out what to do, where to go, and um, coming to some sort of um, determination of, you know, what you should be doing. You or someone else. Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles there. Hmm. This is like saving and holding on. Thinking about finances. Holding back emotions. I feel that a lot of you are feeling like it's best for you right now to move on past a situation in the past that was not serving you. I think that you're holding yourselves back from fully expressing yourself um, to anyone. Okay, I think you've done that before and right now it's like you're in this period where you're like in a safe zone. Okay, Capricorn energy is there. And then we have the Six of Wands here. Hmm. This is Leo energy feeling victorious, feeling recognized, um, feeling confident, feeling very confident and I feel that you know right now it's like this is where you're comfortable at. This is where you feel your best. Not really lending your heart to one person specifically. Okay, I feel like you've got a lot of balance going on right now, and you guys are not trying to rock the boat. You're not trying to rock the boat here. I feel like you are attractive. People notice you. Um, you guys are standing out in a crowd, and I think that's you know that's enough for you. Okay. And then we have the six of pentacles. We have two sixes here, all about harmony and balance. You have the four. You have the eight. Um, I feel like things are going pretty good right now and um, there, there's something though I feel like you have moved on from okay and you're holding on to your dignity you're holding on to your stability okay trying to save money trying to just you know reserve your energy preserve your energy rather okay um, feeling confident that in yourself and not not allowing anyone to affect your stability. I don't feel like you're being selfish. I feel like you are very giving and very nurturing, but you're also at this point where um, you're not just giving and giving and giving. You have to see a return in order to um, invest. Okay. 
please show me more about this Eight of Wands energy. Yeah. See? Four of Swords. All of this is balance. All of this is stability. Um, not in conflict. Not in your mind. Not in your heart. Um, I, I'm feeling like you guys have moved on from this hurt that you've experienced before with someone in the past. And you're really not trying to allow anyone to affect what you have going on right now. And that is a peace of mind. Okay? Please show me more about the Four of Pentacles energy. We have the Ten of Cups there. Right now you're happy. I feel like you're truly happy in your home environment, the people that you consider family. I don't feel like this is um, necessarily anything to do with an intimate connection or relationship. I feel like right now um, you're probably at a very good point in your life. I do feel like you're ready for a relationship, but being scared of the imbalance that it may cause in your life. Okay. Please show me more about the Six of Wands energy. And then we have the Three of Wands. Look at that. Yeah. I think you're definitely waiting on the one. You're waiting on the one that can compliment you. You're waiting on the one that who you can be successful together with. You can be in balance together with. You can grow with. You guys can move in the same direction. Be on the same accord. Okay. Please show me more about the Six of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you'll know. And this is how you feel. A lot of you guys. You'll know when you find that person who is going to give you what you give them. No more, no less. Um, you, you feel confident that you have the knowledge within you to know whether somebody is, is freaking trying to pull the wool over your eyes or whether this person, you know, is, is worthy of you devoting your time and energy to. Okay, I feel like you guys are in a very good spot today. Um, I feel like you've been through a lot and you have recovered from that significantly and you're moving on past that right now. I don't feel like you're willing to give up your your stability, your harmony um, because you don't want any conflict because you've been there, done that. Okay. You only want to be involved with someone who can, you know, be on the same accord with you, which is quite understandable. Okay? And I feel like you will know, you know, when that person comes along. Okay, guys? So we have Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy, Piscean energies here, um, Aries, Leo, Taurus, and um, uh, Gemini or Aquarius may be here as well guys alright so that is what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you soon bye now